And we're live. Hello, hello, hello. Just my luck, I take a sip and then we're live. I know, honestly. <laughs> so we're on episode 15. My name's Hayley and... I'm Regan. <laughs> and this is our season finale. So we are finishing up and we're coming back in a couple of weeks or a few weeks time. Mm-hmm. But we just wanted to finish up with a few things that we're doing um, with ourselves here at Your Social Voice. And then also... Um, ask you guys if there's anything else that you want to know so in the next season what do you want to hear about what do you want to know and for comments to come in and we'd love to cover those subjects and maybe you'd like to kind of guest appear and let yeah, us interview you. business or something or you know a topic that you want to discuss definitely hit up the your social voice page or Haley uh, uh, Haley and I <laughs> It's been a bit of a hectic day in the office, guys. Oh, Me and feeling a bit rough. So we, I've got a bit of a headache, yeah. and you're feeling a little bit just, um, yeah. fuzzy. It's one of those days. Yeah. And the reason being is because the team is constantly growing. Mm. Like the team at Your Social Voice is amazing. There's people coming in all the time. The yeah. team is expanding. The offices are getting crowded. We're going to probably have to move into a new I think area, so. I think. <laughs> yeah. So, so we're we need just a big office soon. Yeah. <laughs> And that's one of the things that we love about it is that there is such a great team and we're all kind of working together mm-hmm. in the office every day. But we just said we can't do the meeting in this office and it's just too it's many too of many us there. sitting in there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, do you want to introduce the wine? Yes. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's get down to the business. Yeah. <laughs> so today I'm drinking a Merlot. Um, it's an Amberley Merlot from Western Australia. Um and it actually is really nice. I was a little bit worried and I thought maybe it might be a little bit harsh because it has like plum flavours in it. And But no, it tastes really good actually. And it's really, really um, smooth. And it says there it's got a long, smooth finish. So there you go. <laughs> I'm really not getting any better at this, hey? I'm never going to be a wine connoisseur. I'm never. Impressed. I'm impressed. <laughs> That's what the bottle looks like there. <laughs> and do you guys want to zoom in? And I'm waiting for it to appear, but it's a bit of a delay, so... Yes, I think it was about 15 bucks from BWS. Nice. So, yeah, awesome. that's a nice little drink. And I'm drinking this lovely uh, filtered water. She doesn't have water. a tea today. <laughs> because I've got a headache, that's why. So uh, I think um, that would just too add to it. Yeah, too over much tea. caffeine. Yeah. <laughs> She's over tea, guys. I anyway, yeah, that. I know, I know. <laughs> so what we're talking about today is really the, the new and improved way of working. And we mm-hmm. want to describe what that is and why we think it is the new way of working um, and really how we incorporate that into the way we work at yeah. Your Social Voice and our mm-hmm. personal life and how we mix and gel those two together. And how it affects our pro- productivity as well because I find that we are more productive as a team. Yeah. Um, just from my experience in working in corporate jobs, probably you're the same. The productivity here is huge. Mm. Like you don't see people going on long lunches, you don't see people taking personal phone calls all the time. Like I don't know what it is, but here we are constantly always working but we enjoy it so it's a little bit different like the feeling's a bit different here because our culture is different obviously it's so different because it's not yeah. so rigid and yeah. so structured and there is that flexibility so mm-hmm. for example um i worked in a corporate office in the city for eight years mm-hmm. um, obviously in the uk first in london and then transferred to the city here in perth and it's you come in and it's early morning till evening and you have your half an hour to an hour break and Mm -hmm. it's just structured Monday to Friday Mm -hmm. and it's very very rigid Mm -hmm. and obviously such a shock and change coming to an environment in your social voice where it's a lot more relaxed but the productivity exactly like you said the you have so much more drive and motivation to Mm. do work and people are just happier yeah therefore the environment is happier and therefore you are more productive right yeah I feel like that it's like a chain effect, like it, it ripple effect it. If you're happy because of the flexibility, then of, like people might think that that would actually reduce the product productivity if you're not working those set hours, but it's actually doing the complete opposite because people actually want to come yeah. to work and when they're here, they're doing what they like, therefore you know they're doing it. So it's, yeah, it's a ripple effect mm. and then you get things done like more so than what you would if you were to... Not force people, of course, but if you were in an environment where it was nine to five strict, you had your hour lunch break, like you know. So and you're you're more like you 
you want to do work outside of your normal hours because yeah. you're pro you're provided with that flexibility. So, for mm. example, I work a, I work from home on a Wednesday. It's something yeah. that I requested from Kim and something that I do, and it just gives that little bit of a, a break up. I can concentrate at home. And I find mm. that I'm again more productive. And then because that's something that has been um, given to me and something that was absolutely fine and yeah. allowed for, it makes me want to give back more because I feel like. I've been listened to yeah, and my needs yeah. and values have yeah. my needs and values have been worked. Oh no, the battery's <laughs> low. Um, so yeah, I, I just think and, and then the other thing that we're both away soon, we're both going away. That's the reason why we wanted to do a, a wine time like this and just talk about how we can do what we do. We're quite lucky and we're quite fortunate because what we both do is in on a computer and as long as we have access yeah. to an internet connection um, and we have our computers with us we can work from basically anywhere but more and more jobs are becoming like that and that's how the new workplace is forming yeah. a lot of people do have their laptops and they go away and they work on them um, and a lot of them are digital nomads as they call themselves as yeah. well um, I would class classify myself as a digital nomad purely because I could take my business my personal business anywhere and I can also take what I do at your social voice anywhere in the world and work from there and Hales is off to Greece and if she wanted to which you wouldn't want to but <laughs> if you wanted to you can work from Greece and you know you yeah. can because all you need is your laptop and yeah. you can do what you're doing here but just sitting by the ocean <laughs> exactly yeah. exactly and, and, and there is handmade bikinis well, yeah yeah <laughs> So, um, exactly, and that yeah. is the, the idea that, you know, I will be at some stage working from my computer mm -hmm. because everything is on the computer, it's easily access. accessible, yeah. Yeah. Um, where I can work from Greece or the UK or Australia or wherever I want to mm -hmm. and be able to just have my laptop and connect with everyone from the office here. Yeah, and, and check in and see how things are going. Yeah. And be able to do everything. And, mm -hmm. God, the, the freedom that that allows, that flexibility and freedom and... And I thought it was something that I was just so passionate about, that freedom and living life slight on my own terms, because mm. it kind of is. I'm working for someone, but it doesn't feel like I'm... like You're Actually, under someone's, like, uh, micromanagement. That's yes. the thing. You're not being micromanaged. Yeah. I feel like that's what it's more down to. You don't have someone hovering over your shoulder, like, you know, constantly checking, because we don't need that because what we do is what we like so everything gets done but again it goes back to having that flexibility exactly and just being happy you know happy in the workplace so. and and that's what we were talking about as well um just earlier i suppose that flexibility and values is something that's so important mm -hmm. in the workplace for young professionals coming through now mm -hmm. um that it's not just when we thought of flexibility, it was thought of in the terms of working mums and how can we can be flexible in the working environment yeah. for them to work around their children. But now it's spreading out into every area and people are wanting and desiring that flexibility a lot more. It's becoming the new workplace. It is. The new workplace. Yeah, it and a really lot of the is. older corporate um, a lot of the older corporations are trying to take on that type of culture now as well. I feel like a lot of them see that because mm. you can't deny the fact that technology is taking over, right? That's something that you just have to grow with. You can't fight against it. And you can look at it in either a good or bad way. Technology can be a great way in, you know, delivering yeah. a new workplace because you can connect quicker. You, can, you don't have to necessarily be in the office every day. You don't have to be necessarily there at your desk at a computer that's stable, you know, and you can't take it with you. You can take your laptop and, you know, and yeah. you can put um, things in, like strategies in place that ensure that the employees are doing obviously what they're meant to be doing yeah. but also giving them that freedom to be able to do it from home if they wanted to exactly. you know and not having to apply to be at home or you know to apply to if their kids sick or something you know it's just a little bit easier therefore they're going to be a bit happier and yeah like yeah. feeling like you're a burden for for working from home where that's just not the case not the case anymore no that it's known that the work will still get done if mm. not more productively but there's also having trust in your employers and the environment that you build within the company. Yeah, exactly. So there yeah. needs to be, that's part of the company's values and structure that allows people that, that trust in the employees to be able to do that, mm -hmm. to, to, to work from home and that they'll get the, the job done. And the more freedom mm -hmm. you create, that tends to... We're seeing that happen here. Yeah, we're seeing that happen here. I don't know whether that's just because we... That's just the way that the, your social voice has been for the last um, couple of years. 
that we've been in operation and we always have had a flexible workplace. So we haven't really been come from a corporate sort of environment and then pushed into a more flexible workplace. Mm, yeah. So we're not saying that that's going to work in every job, but I feel like that is how the workplace is starting to evolve because the younger generation is coming through. Technology is always improving. Um, younger generation, you know, are wanting to travel a lot more. There's a lot mm. more opportunities for, for us to travel as well. A lot of us back, back, you know, back in the day didn't really have the opportunity to be able to travel like, you know, the younger generation no. does these days. So... I feel like there's more, not distractions, but life experiences that are coming in place as opposed to, yeah, I'm going to go and get a job, I'm going to go and buy a house. You know what I mean? It's, there's yes. Less, um, what's the word to use? Um, there's like, there's, what's the word to use? Uh, I do know what you mean, but yeah. I can't think of the word either. Yeah. You're the worst person to structure. ask. Structure. Oh. So you say structure the whole, <laughs> the whole time. There's less structure in it, like in the way that we're doing things now because yeah. of how everything's evolved and technology and stuff. So, And I think, exactly, there's the potential of companies and workplaces losing really, really good talent mm -hmm. if they don't allow for some flexibility. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like what we have here, we just rock up, <laughs> you know? And we have such a relaxed, relaxed environment. I have to say our environment here is very relaxed. We can wear what we want. Like, we don't have that much... Um, structure, yes. in a way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it works for us, right? But it could be as little as just you know um, implementing like a strategy where an hour on the hour every day everybody gets up and you know has a bit of a dance or you know just something so Love small that. just to yeah. lighten the mood or you know getting Julian in who we had last week to come and do a company culture team building day just yeah. something small just to sort of start that transition or just implement a little bit of freedom just to change it a little bit from the corporate structure, yeah, you know? So yeah. it doesn't have to be a massive change. Like, oh, everyone doesn't have to work 9 to 5 now. Uh, you can go home when you want, <laughs> you yeah. know? It's um, small little steps. Just small little things, I think, that would make a huge difference to people. Huge. And just checking in with how everyone is. So, like, on a Friday, for example, we'll have um, our wins. So the wins, not just our professional, but our personal wins for the week. Mm. So we check in. We have people calling in from overseas. And that's what's great. We all kind of call in from all our different locations overseas. Yeah. So, yeah, that team culture or, and those values of creating that freedom and that new and improved way of working that we believe mm -hmm. and actually would love to hear if if there's any other workplaces on here or if you guys what yeah, you do cool. in your workplaces what do you do for workplace benefits or do you have any flexibility and freedom how do you work what do you do like stra um, team building days as well because I, I really like those when Jules comes in yeah. and gives strategy days that like brings all of us together on a Thursday and we just sit for an hour and we're just with each other. We're not working. We're focusing on each other as people. Like, is there anything that you can... You guys do. Yeah, you this. guys can implement or you do implement that you can give us a be, few tips? Yeah, <laughs> it'd be really interesting to know because, like I said, I was in a corporate job that uh, in the city that didn't allow for any of the type of work that we're doing now. Mm -hmm. We went into the, the um, flexibility, freedom kind of base business mm -hmm. that we have, but... I'd love to see and hear about what you guys do and like how you incorporate that into your business if you do or if you have any questions about how you can incorporate that. It'd be really interesting to know because yeah. I'm sure we're not the only ones. I'm sure there's no. other people doing exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's just I haven't heard of it. So it'd be awesome to hear and kind of brainstorm with yeah. other people to see what they're doing, anything we could learn from. Yeah, and like we said at the start, if you want to jump on, this is the end of the season one. <laughs> this is the oh, yes. episode. Yeah. So if you would like to make an appearance, um, if you want to come and have a chat with Hales and I, it can be anything really. Um, we cover almost anything. Marketing, Marketing branding, branding wise, sales, yeah. sales Obviously anything in that category. <laughs> <laughs> um, wine. Yeah, if you've started your yeah, wine, if you want to come and drink some wine. <laughs> Um, yeah, just send us a message or, you know, um, send your social voice a message and, yeah, it would be, be nice to have you. If you have any topics that you want us to cover. Um, so we're going to be starting off season two probably when Hayley gets back, which would be... So in the meantime, I'll be in Greece, so I'll see <laughs> you there. it up and she'll be probably a lot more tanned <laughs> than what she is now. I, I shall, yeah. And you'll be in Melbourne coming yeah, back from there. I'll be, I'll be going to Melbourne next week today, so, yeah, it's... 
It's cool, but we'll still be working. <laughs> still working. Digital nomads. <laughs> exactly. So, so, yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining us. I Thanks, hope guys. you got something out of today's show. I hope you've got something out of all the episodes that we've done so far. Yeah. Um, just give us a little bit of feedback and see how we can improve. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. Just, love to know. Yeah. Love to know what you think, what you'd like to hear about, and if you'd like to come on, on the show with us and yeah, meet us and chat to us and... yeah. <laughs> drink some wine with me. Drink some wine. No one else does. Tea. <laughs> yes. Ellie never drinks wine with me. It's always a guest. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, right, thanks, guys. guys. Cheers. See you later. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. Enjoy Greece. I will. Don't you worry. <laughs> <Lucky>. <laughs>